Today we're going to talk about that new spicy bow weapon in that Splatoon 3 trailer. Is it going to be amazing? Is it going to be the new meta? Is it going to be broken? Probably, yes, let's go. You know, recently we got that spicy Splatoon 3 trailer and everything was pretty cool. You know, it's like, oh dang, Splatoon 3 is here, this is great. But then, bam, you know, you get that bow weapon pretty much right away and all the way through the trailer. And we see some pretty hot stuff. There's only been a few people talking about this, so I was like, you know what, why the hell not? Let's just talk about this spicy crud. And uh, I think it could be pretty different because, as we know, most weapons in the Splatoon game are pretty much different. Uh, than most other weapons, but you know, you could be saying, Waffles, Waffles, the end zap and the splatter shot are pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I know, shut up, okay? I said most of them, alright? No, no need to, you know, pop off on me. Most of them are pretty different, you know? It's like a shooter, but there's maybe a, some something dealt with it. It's got some damage, it's got some fire rate difference. You know, I mean, pretty much every class has that, except for, you know, like the umbrella doesn't really like do that. It's just like, it's a umbrella, dude. I mean, one's just got a larger canopy than the other one. But for all the shooters, you know, splatlings, gals, and all that, you know, the mobility's different, you know, it might be more, but then, you know, it's got less range, but more fire rate or something, you know, just, it kind of goes around and changes on whatever it does. Um, and a lot of weapons are pretty good, you know, some of them are more defensive than other ones. So, if we're looking at this weapon, I would probably say we're going to have a long-range weapon. Obviously, it's a bow. I mean, it shoots like 300 meters in the trailer, um, which kind of brings me to the first point. What is the range of this weapon? So, if the range is pretty long, then probably going to assume the fire is a little lower, uh, which is, you know, understandable. You know, it's not going to be too much, uh, but the damage could be interesting. You know, we're probably thinking of a thing where it, uh, you know, like the longer you pull it back, uh, like the more damage it does uh, and maybe the like obviously it should go less if like it shouldn't go as far if you don't pull it back as far um, This is kind of a thing in uh, fork knife You know there's like that one bow that isn't really in the game It's still in the game kind of actually I think in the new season it's in the game now but uh, there's like a bow and then and then you can kind of pull it back and it's like it doesn't really go anywhere But then if you like start to pull it the arc goes pretty straight, but that that actually has a straight arc but what what kind of looks in the trailer is it seems to maybe have a more of an arc so maybe the range is really far but then it's like yeah, okay hold up maybe we can shoot pretty far but then the arc is like a lot which is interesting I'd be harder to hit but the range would be pretty cool um which isn't bad then you could do some long range painting and it would be longer than jet squelter but it's also not a shooter so it's a jet squelter so probably probably I don't know the weapons but it would probably be the longest shooter still uh, but next we go into probably one of the Partially the second most interesting things about it, but the uh, the three shot So we're gonna go to the probably the uh, spiciest thing about this is Maybe not on the surface. You might think all oh, three shot is probably pretty cool and I'd be like, okay. Yeah, all right. All right, but I'll I'll do you one better I'll give you a horizontal or vertical shot so in the trailer I do believe you get the vertical vertical shot um, And the horizontal shot I, I do believe that we get that um, you get the vertical like really up close, but then I believe like there's like another gamer off to the side and he does a little horizontal meme. So, uh, if we're doing like, I'm, I'm sure there's, there's probably always a spread, but obviously the sideways will do more painting. The top one will probably have a little bit more range, uh, maybe. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, like, even though like the canisters they shoot from are larger, uh, they seem the same size. So I'm going to assume they all do the same damage. And maybe they each do like, I don't know, uh, 40 damage or something. And if you hit all three, then bam, it's a one shot kill. But if you don't, then you hit, you just get 80 or 40 damage. I don't know, it's probably, uh, actually, I don't think there's really damage. There's not really damage fall off in this game. That's not really a thing. It's more like if it kind of goes into the air and then like hits him. I mean, and, and I know that's damage fall off, but I'm talking like the further, you know, like it doesn't, doesn't do any damage to the foot or anything. Like that's not, there's no headshots, okay? But what if they actually had headshots? That would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe maybe I'll make a video about that too. Uh, but assuming that all three shots do the same damage, I was kind of thinking that they just each kind of do like 440 or 35 damage, or whatever. You got to hit all three of them to get a spicy kill, um, which which would be nice. Uh, the Bob kind of be interesting on how, because like in the trailer, the three shot like it kind of goes pretty high. So also maybe like a different way of, of, of shooting it is like the further you pull it back the less spread there is so then it's kind of a shotgun spread meme we're going to shotgun theory here and it's like oh we gotta get the perfect spread so maybe for like really far away you're like all right let me laser this guy but it also isn't a laser you know like it's not we're not shooting an ink or a I guess it's an, I guess an ink stream but we're not shooting a charger or a splatter scope where it's a line of paint that goes down the field 
Uh, it's more just like a long, it's a shot and it goes pretty far. Um, but it's a little more, a little stretched out than like an actual like paint shot that you see just from like a Jet Welcher or whatever. So it looks a little different, uh, you know, like an ink air or something, but that's obviously not what it is. It's just like paint. So yeah, if we're in vertical mode, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting gun. Like I, it's, it's, it's it feel like it could be really broken and viable at the same time. And then also it just might be doo to water and like, what even is this? Uh, but then we could also get the vertical or sorry, the horizontal meme of when it's sideways, it does a lot of paint spread, but I don't really see it doing the charger approach where it has a bunch of lanes of ink, uh, maybe it like hits and kind of has like a large radius of where it splats, but I don't really think it's going to be a good painting weapon, but like, I don't know, most weapons, like, I can see why they didn't add this in the, you know, in Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, because it's like, most weapons you'd be like, okay, this thing's got to paint decently, like, yeah, they can't all be trash at painting, is kind of what the game is built around, so maybe this is like, alright, you pair this with someone who's got like an end zap or something, and then they paint while you are, you know, chilling in the back, trying to take out gamers, uh, which is interesting because then it's like, okay, are we gonna do like a team deathmatch thing? I don't know, but uh, this gun is very interesting, but let's say it does paint pretty well. I'm gonna assume that if it's shooting in horizontal, then it's just like popping off and it's doing a lot of paint. Maybe it does rows, it probably won't, but I'm kind of thinking like it'll do like a large splash of wherever it hits, or maybe the more you charge it, the more painting it has, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but if, we're, if it were more on the broken side, it would kind of be like that. And then I'm assuming like they would just do a lot more damage and it would probably be like a closer to a hit scan weapon uh, where it just doesn't really have any like, you know, arc to it, no bullet drop, or I guess I can say ink drop, it's not only a bullet. Uh, I guess that's the term, but I uh, wouldn't really have any ink drop to it. So it could kind of go pretty far. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of interesting though, because like all the guns, like, it doesn't matter if you angle them or not, like they always shoot a certain amount of distance, like from wherever you point, like not forward, but just like wherever you're pointing, it shoots a distance and then just follows straight down. It completely obeys or it completely disobeys the laws of physics entirely. Uh, like if you try to shoot at 45 degrees, which obviously, you know, uh, is the optimal degree for flying objects or whatever, then it's like, okay, cool. This should be going, but you sh it's actually better to shoot like just straight like just just horizontal completely because it goes over like how long it I don't even know how, how it goes the distance of where whatever angle you're shooting at and then just falls straight down so like it's also interesting because like the, the freaking acceleration on the thing like it, the bullets or the ink will go and then they'll just like stop and just fall down which is kind of interesting it's really weird but um so maybe the paint actually has some physics to it of this one I don't know but if it didn't then that would be weird because like if obviously I was like all right cool working with a bow here so that means it just shoots but maybe it reduces the bullet velocity so if you see it coming you might have like half a second to move out of the way which would be decent a decent buff but if it were broken it probably wouldn't and I don't think they'll do that but it's an idea it's a possibility uh, but now we're going to something interesting that I uh, kind of thought about but if we not many weapons are Grisco or have Grisco variants that obviously are used in Salmon Run, which uh, I don't even know if we even are going to have Salmon Run, but let's say we still got Salmon Run, and let's say there's a bow Grisco weapon. What is that going to look like? Probably the complete most broken thing you could ever have, where it just got unlimited range, it's friggin' broken. I mean, I don't even know what the weapon looks like to begin with, so I don't really know exactly what it would look like. But if I had it and I was like, alright, let's design this, I would probably have it where it just shoots pretty far almost infinitely, which would kind of just be broken in a sense, but we're shooting pretty far. It's like hit scan where there's no bullet or ink fall off and it's just going pretty much to infinity and each shot does, I don't know, a hundred damage or whatever. I mean, the damage is kind of different for a salmon run, but it just does a lot of damage and it takes a lot of ink, but that's kind of like every Grizzco weapon ever. Like I'm looking at you blaster, like they all just do a freaking crud ton. Just to kind of wrap things up here. This gun is pretty interesting or weapon, I should say, because it is weapon. Uh, but I don't know what it's going to look like because they could do pretty much anything. I remember when the Brella first came out and everyone was like, dude, this is kind of broken. You can throw up a shield and, and then they're like, oh my God, it's like a shotgun and a shield and the same thing. Oh my God. And then you see the freaking Brella and it's like, okay, this is okay because it doesn't even, it doesn't even one shot. I mean, the Tenebrella does, but for some reason you hit the trigger and then like 10 seconds later, the Tenebrella shot comes out, but I'm ranting. And I don't know, I just hope this weapon's pretty hot, you know, like if it's more integrated, you know, uh, the integration 
Uh, like the dudes are pretty good, but those were kind of, kind of like just a little different than regular weapons. But I would say other than like umbrella, uh, which was not in the first game. I mean the spy toys were kind of close to a shooter. You don't just dodge roll and all that. But uh, the umbrella was pretty different, and it's not really used that much. So I hope that if they do make either of you know they're probably gonna make obviously more new weapons but if they make new weapons that I hope they're not completely underused and trash and at least make them spicy and if they're broken in the beginning that would be cool you know we could try a broken weapon I remember last time Trisoster was pretty broken and then it got nerfed but it was so good so like if it's still usable you know two years into the game that would be great but I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this spicy video Thanks for watching to the end, and hey, if you're here watching the end, that means you like my crud, so you might as well hit that sub button, you know, just save save us both some time. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace! I don't, I don't remember them. There was one for each weapon, but I don't know if this is for, like, your overall or weapon. I don't know. Uh, then we have, I guess, abilities you're wearing and also amiibo. I guess it's saying that you're wearing amiibo. I, I'm not sure. Menu, equip. Okay, not too bad. I don't know what this is here. Uh, we'll talk about these.